This video is about the web page of the World Trade Center as it was on September 11, 2001. I will present the web page of the Port Authority of New York and New Jersey who owned those two towers and the complex around them. The Port Authority of New York owns, as the name suggests, also the port and a number of infrastructure systems like towns and bridges and airport systems and railway systems. Before I jump into the presentation of this page, I go back to the home page of the Port Authority on November 11, 2001. And that page presented like that, it showed a number of first press releases. Furthermore, phone numbers were given but only for Port Authority staff. Now if we have a look for example at the 4.45 p.m. press release, there we go, it states of course an introduction, our hearts and our prayers go to the families of the countless people including many members of the Port Authority families who were killed today in this brutal coward attack. Um, reading those lines now, today, exactly 20 years later on September 11, 2021, that's pretty intense. Furthermore, a list of infrastructures given that is shut down, like the bridges and uh, the path railway system. Then a number of further press releases are shown. Which give the updated situation mostly concerning um, the tunnels and the bridges. Okay, now from here let's go to the World Trade Center that was at that time managed by PATH. And we're back to that page. Now, the World Trade Center was opened in 1970, as the visitor of this, world pay, of this page is in instructed or introduced. Interestingly, the first paragraph on that site, it states that a 99-year agreement um, has been signed with Silverstein Properties, who will lease the complex, the Twin Tower, uh, for, nine, yeah, for 99 years. And that agreement has been signed a couple of months before the attack. So what will we see on this web page, on this website? Um, let's maybe just give a short overview of the menu items we'll see, we'll look at. So we'll see at, we'll look at the shopping mall. So what is there, the restaurants, and uh, the office overview, the directory, and maybe pretty interesting is the calendar of events of that week or the day. So let's jump into the presentation of the shopping mall. So it's a very classic 2000 years uh, styled page with this picture of the shops looking pretty 1990, 1980 styled. So short introductions given, and we learned that there have been 80 exceptional retailers and uh, 17 express eateries among and the further or more famous restaurants. Further, the, furthermore, the opening hours are given, as well as a list of shop categories with their relative shops. For example, if we were to look for electronics, I would click on this drop down list and then see, well, in that case, three shops with their phone numbers. So, no website links, just phone numbers. Now, where can we find those shops? To find those shops, uh, maps were given. So, two maps to be more specific. 
So the first map is the important map for the shops because that's where they were located under there and beneath the surface on the concourse level. If you look at the image on the left, we have the Tower 1 and here Tower 2. In between the Marriott Hotel, which was a World Trade, World Trade Center 3. And if we see, if we click, for instance, on key plan, a small window pops up that shows us what the facilities are there and the different types of shop. Note that it's all from the local hard disk, so that's where the web pages come from. Yup. Let's move one floor up to the plaza level. And on the plaza level, the first thing that we recognized in the center was or is the big sphere. And again, the two towers. So we have World Trade Center 1, 2, 3, which is the Marriott Hotel, 4, 5, 6, and the 7 was further north. Let's have a look at the restaurants. Now, the most famous restaurant was probably the Windows of the World, which was located in the last floor, the 106th and 107th floor of um, World Trade Center 1. It also has its own web page, which here where uh, the link here is broken, but um, it can be seen, it can be found on archive.org, like the entire web page I show you here can also be found there, but mostly with broken links and missing pictures. I do have also a copy of uh, the Window of the World restaurant page. Now if we scroll further down, we learn that, for example, Windows of the World is also home of the World Trade Center's club a private lunch club with a year-round calendar of activities for members. So this was probably a pretty close circle um, club. So we learned that there were smaller restaurants as well. For example, um, we see this battle for those who love a rather convenient um, pizza and pasta. Let's jump to the next chapter in this web page, um, the office space overview. So that was mo mostly intended for those who wanted to get a first impression of how it is to rent space in uh, those two towers. On the picture again, the sphere in the central uh, court. The following pages, they give uh, basic info information about uh, offices. For example, here we learn that office space ranges from 400 to 500,000 square feet, so from very small to pretty large. And um, a contact name is given with a phone number. So if you want to schedule an appointment for a visit, that's the direction we need to engage in. So there's a very quick presentation about the World Trade Center. Seven buildings make up the World Trade Complex. Here we are, here they are. And some facts are given. For example, um, there were 239 elevators and 71 escalators. There was an express elevator right to up to the sky lobby carrying 55 people at a speed of 27 feet per second which is pretty impressive now some key data is given for uh, most of the buildings at least for those buildings uh, owned by the port authority it's interesting to note that world trade center one was opened in 1970 but number two only in 72 and similar for the further buildings that so were opened in the 1970s.
Then a list of transportation directions is given how to reach World Trade Center by the subway, by bus, and ferry, by car. Interesting enough, if you want to park, it's $15 an hour plus 30% tax. So that was 2001. last chapter i would like to present is the chapter about the events which is maybe the most important or the most interesting chapter at least uh, in my impression for me because it lists the 11 day festival that uh, took place from september 5th and should have taken place until september 16 and it was a week or 11 day period of um, perform live performance of um, some pretty well well known dance companies interesting enough is that the performances were free um, they had free admission now let's see what was seen what was um, planned for 11 September 11 so at that day, that day the Pass and Dance Company um, should have performed. Hopefully those guys and the staff were not present in the building um, the hours in the morning before. So the further performances, of course, never happened. And with that, I conclude this presentation of the Port Authority pages of the World Trade Center. Hopefully you found interesting bits and bites. Thank you very much for watching.